Hey everybody, welcome to the first part of our travel vlog adventure. And our first adventure, we're having a meal, frozen drink from McDonald's, snack boxes from KFC. The adventure started off great. We're at the airport now, and look at the line of people that I have to wait behind. That's all the people that I'm currently behind in line. You think I'm at the back of the line, but really, I'm actually not too far from the, the uh, that's the rest of the line behind me there. So I'm on the plane now, got a window view, but it's night time, so I don't expect to see anything out the window. Yay! I've made it to my parents' hotel now, and my father's taken me for a little tour around the hotel. So right now we're inside one of the penthouse apartments here at the Beacon Lee Hotel, and I'm going to have a look at the, the crazy view from out here on the deck. Let me use my dad's uh, polarized glasses, because God, the, the, sun, the sun here. Look at that. Boats, water. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at all of this. This is the Gold Coast happening right there. Look how high up we are. Oof. You wouldn't want to drop the camera from that height. Whew. Part of the fun about having your parents own the hotel is you get to go through the weird tunnels and dungeons that you would think lead to the basement. They lead to the roof. So here we are on the roof of the building. With, you know, roof stuff. So welcome to the roof. I'm going to just extend this. Teeny bit closer to the edge. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at the view you can get from this roof. The city, ah, oh, it's incredible. Look at the look at the the water and the, the, the stuff in the distance. Oh my god. So now I'm in an Australian department store having a look at all of their awesome gadgets and things. The only thing that I find a bit annoying about Australian department stores is that Spider-Man keeps following me around to poop on shelves. So, I've done some shopping now, gone out and bought a couple of pairs of shoes. Now I'm thinking, I'm going to go and get myself a haircut. But I don't know what to do with all of this, so I'm going to tell the lady that I want it short, manageable, feminine, and surprise me. And we'll see what happens. Come on, let's go! So I got my new haircut! <laughs> hey, so we're at the KFC now. Came by to pick up some of those mashies with gravy in them. There you go, some gravy filled mashies. And while we're here, you'll never guess what I found. They have frozen Mountain Dew. Frozen Mountain Dew. I haven't tried in a long time. I tried in a gas station in America once. Terrible. Let's try. They nailed it. That is awesome. This is great, come here. So we've finished our shopping day now, and we're back at the hotel, the fabulous Beacon Lee in front of the, the beautiful ocean view. And while I was getting my hair cut, it seems that uh, brown hair is too tame for the people of this area because they really kept trying to drill into me to get it colored and stuff. Um, so I got home and my parents immediately grilled me on how much money was spent on the shopping, so that was fun. And now my parents want to take me to Hooters. So we're off to Hooters to go and have a meal. Let's go! So now we're at Hooters and I've got myself a pink lemonade. They're doing a weird Halloween theme today so they've got spooky Halloween shit all over. So Halloween at Hooters, yeah! Curly fries with cheese and bacon, mushroom burger with a knife stabbed out of it. How am I supposed to eat all this? So now it's night time and I'm on this beach. There's people shooting weird LEDs up into the sky. I don't know what they're doing, but it seems like a weird day to a weird night to be at the beach. So here we are at Dracula's gonna go into this little scary place. Sounds scary. Take your time and enjoy the displays. But remember, Big Brother is watching. We have eyes, cameras everywhere. Now, step inside the island for a one-way express to the surface. Oh. 
Here we go. Let's go, Honest. Let's go on a spooky adventure. Uh, you can't even see it with this lighting. Okay, so I survived Dracula's haunted house. So now Dad has brought me to a pub. So hooray for pub time instead. So now I'm at Ripley's Believe It or Not. I don't believe it! Sounds like your engine's backfiring. I think you need a tune-up. That was him. Here I am at Ripley's. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Here I am at Ripley's, believe it or not, sitting with my new friend, Gunchuncho. He's cool. <laughs> now we're at the Ripley's, believe it or not, shooting range. It costs $1 for 25 shots. My dad's playing too. Yeah. Okay. subscribe and send money to my PayPal because I need bail. Okay, uh, shooting gallery is not actually legal. Why would they charge only a dollar if they're gonna put you in jail? This makes no sense. So now we've left Ripley's believe it or not. I've got a pink lemonade and we're here at a fancy lobster restaurant. I've got a little tool here to bash up my lobster and I've got a little, little scoop to get the lobster out of there. So let's eat some fancy food. We are outside a fabulous movie world looking at some crazy roller coasters so hopefully we'll get some footage inside I'm not sure so let's just find out how it goes let's go standing here with the Joker did anyone know he was this tall damn first stop in movie world was of course the deli they had fancy food probably a bit too fancy for a little kiwi girl like me so I just got a sausage roll so now I'm at the spooky coaster for Scooby Doo. Let's go! So now I've finished the Scooby Doo ride and I've come to this nice quiet cemetery because that's the only place I'm allowed to smoke and poison myself apparently. Unless I want to go for a smoke go behind the Arkham Asylum. Now I'm at the bumper cars! Bumper cars! Electric baby when I turn it on All through my city 
the fabulous cat cafe let's go inside and meet some cats this is a magical place this is Harry Harry is a munchkin cat he has a little feet So we finished at the cat cafe and ended up back at the pub again. Ordered ourselves a you know big barrel of booze and a three dollar steak. And it's, it's not bad for a three dollar steak. It's a you know decent size. So it's so a look at this three dollar steak, big barrel of booze. Welcome to the pub. Turns out this pub has a cigarette dispenser machine, which suits me just fine. It's also got lighters. Anyone need a lighter? Let's go! And now we're at the beach! The fabulous surf is paradise! Just look at those waves! Wow, incredible! It's got the whitest sand that I've ever seen! Wow! Australia really is very loose on the difference between togs and underwear. Just saying. We've got togs and underwear. Now we're at Hungry Jack's, the Australian equivalent of Burger King. So, we've been to a lot of food places today. We're at the indoor skydiving, so let's go jump from the sky. I fly.
bunch of trees filled with parrots, and it's even louder than the wind tunnel was. Now here we are back at the airport. It feels like that trip went by as if it was some sort of quick montage. That's kind of weird.